It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by The Beat Seat. Sam didn't snitch on anyone. First image of Bankman freed behind bar surfaces. Let's see what this scumbag looks like. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's like part of like the chain gang. What is this? Look at him. The guy next to him just can't wait to elbow him right in that freaking face. You know, with that pointy nose. He's just sitting out there like, I stole $20 billion. The guy over here, why is this guy the only one you could see his face? Alongside fellow inmates, but why is there one dude with him? You can see the two guys. <laughs> and you got all these other guys with their faces blocked out. They look like they're a boy band or something, right? I think they're starting a boy band. What do you guys think? You know, he's DJing in the back. Stealing your money. Let's just quickly read this because this guy's a chooch. First photograph of Sam Bankman Freed, who committed one of the biggest financial frauds in American history. Uh, so it's some, this guy says, SBF in jail goes kind of hard. Does he? He looks like he's like, he's been abused a few times at this point, you know? And he's lost his faith in life, in himself. He's believing it now, you know, that he's a piece of garbage. He's believing it. Subs- subsisting on bread and water, sometimes peanut butter. Joanne, did I just do a reference to peanut butter and then we're getting peanut butter about this? Joanne! <laughs> you know, Joanne, when, when I'm here doing the news and you're back there tooting and wheezing, it doesn't help the show, Joanne. It hurts the show. Oh, <laughs> thanks for showing up, Joanne. Oh! <laughs> Joanne! <laughs> what the hell did you eat, Joanne? <laughs> That's disgusting. That ain't right. <laughs> Joanne. Anyway, back to the news, guys. The group picture was permitted as inmates are allowed to take photos around Christmas, Fong reported. The MA2 Friedman's right has been identified as a former member of the Bloods gang. G-Lock. That's G-Lock. Yeah. He told Fong that the former billionaire isn't showering often, has grown a full beard, and has become skinny like a toothpick. They like it, you know, when he does that. They're interested when he's totally into being a skinny toothpick. Who doesn't shower? They like the stench. Or that's a game on his part. So he's like, I smell so freaking bad that none of these guys, part of the, you know, the Crips and the, and the Bloods, want to hang out with me. They're like, I don't like that guy. Not only do I not like his actual ethical value, but I also think he's a piece of garbage because he smells like garbage, like a big pile of crap. You know, it's a Sam Bankman Freed original right there. He's an original idea. He, got, he was on his way to jail. He's like, I got one. I'm going to crap myself, right? And when people come over, they're like, ooh, there's Sam Bangman Freed. I'm going to go get some of that, that fresh, you know, meat, they call it, I mean, fresh meat. And then they come close to me, Sam Bangman Freed style. And I smell like Sam Bangman peed and pooped his pants, you know? And then they're like, turn tail and run. For the rest of my existence there, all they have is this reference point. Of sh- you know, and that's good because you don't want them thinking about doing things with your hole. You know, you want to just keep it clean, so to speak. After you do the original drop a doocheru in order to create the entire scheme. <laughs> Again, Sam Bankman Freed original. Sometimes he's got a brilliant idea, and look, he's there. You know, he's been doing it, and he didn't get into the trouble you thought he would. Freed. Got to give it. You got to give it to a guy when he's smart enough to do the old smell like crap routine, so nobody wants to hang out with you. And as you can see in this photo here, he smells like crap. Look at that hair. That's crap in his hair. <laughs> What's that, Joanne? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, I'm having a hard time hearing you, but I think you said he just has crappy hair. <laughs> I caught you, Joanne. You stopped yourself from tooting. I'm proud of you. Good job. Look at Freed, though, huh? Mm. 
Oh, goodness. That's the thing. These guys over here couldn't wait to get away from him. This guy over here, he's like, this isn't a, a, like a, a cover on his face. He's wearing a mask so he doesn't have to smell freed. Him, he had a deviated septum. When they did the work, messed with his nasal cavity, can't smell anymore. So he's okay with smelling, like being next to Freed. He doesn't care, you know. He doesn't smell a thing. In fact, he's, that's the only one Freed's worried about. Is because when he's feeling bloodsy, you know, like going back to his gang roots, he may come after Freed in the middle of the night. He doesn't smell the crap, you know. These guys... They're all wearing masks. Those are all filtered masks, N99s. That's why you don't recognize that one. You're used to the N95s. This guy's having a hard time standing up. He's breathing issues because of this stenchy freaking body over here. This guy, I'm going to do a big circle around him. <laughs> Stinky. There's a, you see that back there? That's not a shadow. That is the dirt that is wiped off of Sam Bankman Freed. Onto the wall. Nobody else has the shadow. You notice that? Because it's not a shadow. It's crap. This guy is just full of it. And it's all over the wall now. Guys, you know, I'm, when I have to get scientific on it, you know, sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to get scientific on it. So, oh, goodness. Okay, see, we have enough of you, Sam Bankman. Nobody really cares. Look at this. Hold on. The former gang member applauded Bankman Freed's reputation among peers. Sam didn't snitch on nobody. Sam's a gangster. Before proceeding to plead with President Sleep Sofa Joe to grant SBF a pardon. You have to imagine. Okay, I just want to play this out. <laughs> this guy over here. Sam Bankman Freed, he says to him, oh, well, Look, I'll give you a million dollars. If you tell them to pardon me, if you have sleepy poopy pants, pardon me because they'll do anything for you. You just came over the border yesterday. We're going to give you a stipend. He gets the stipend. He stands up. Vouches. For Sam Bankman Freed. <sighs> Guys, when tattoo neck, tattoo arms, and I assume legs, I don't think he has legs anymore, they've all been tatted up, like completely. When tat body asks the President of the United States for a pardon for Sam Bankman Freed. That's about as good as it gets, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure there's not a better way to get a pardon. It's probably the only way to do it. You, you got to really, <laughs> you got to get that guy right here. And if he comes in with a mohawk, like this Magoo did, then you're really in a good position. You're really looking good. So, MDC houses at 32 years old at the time of sentencing, Bankman Freed could face up to 110 years behind bars. Good. <laughs> that guy should never get out of jail. Are you serious? How many people lost their life savings or just lost money at all because this piece of garbage took it and then spent it on like an island and on a f football team or whatever that is, the stadiums? What a scumbag. But he smells like a scumbag too now. That's his, again, that's his MO in order to keep the gangsters away from his hiney butt. You got to give it to him. You got to give it to Sam Bankman Freed. That one was a pretty genius idea. How about when you got people to give him billions? Oh, yeah, I guess you, some people would say it was pretty genius in order to get people to give you money for free and then you steal it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.